Hey everyone, imagine we have application, we have a bunch of items, and we want to confirm that each item has the right text. We don't want to confirm all the items, we don't want to write a loop, but we want to confirm a couple of items. So I have my Cypress test right here, I'm importing to-dos from a fixture file, I'm resetting the data on the back end by making a Cy request post call. I have a special endpoint called to reset that allows to reset the data during end to end testing. I'm visiting the page and I'm seeing a couple of to do's. So we can get a list of class to do and you know the length should be free or we can say to do's length, right? Now we want to confirm the text for the first to do. We can get a light to do, we can say first, and we can say contain, right? And we take the JSON object and the title. Perfect. Code the app. And if you want to do the second one, right, you could do, well, unfortunately, Cypress doesn't have second command, right? It has ik, of, and you can provide a zero based index. So, the second to do would be ik1. And it always bothered me because you have first, you have, uh, say, last, right? But you don't have a second or third, right? So this is why I wrote Cypress map plugin. It includes a lot of queries that I feel are actually missing from core Cypress. And I use Cypress map all the time and it allows me to write very concise, elegant, retriable you know, queries and chains of queries where I can verify lots of things. And if a social fails, it will go back and require until the application updates itself. So Cypress map has a command called second. Okay. Acts like just like a first. I even added, as you might guess, third. I did not add four for fifth. I think that's a little bit too much. You can probably uh, check a couple um, of to dos and not, you know, all the way to a five. If you're checking more than three to dos, you probably should write a loop. So try Cypress map. I'll put the link to the plugin in the description of this video.